to the crack. Awesome, kids! Today I'm super excited to bring you this Cool Baker Magic Mixer Refill Pack. We'll be making some whoopie pies today. A long time ago, I used this mixer to make brownies and cupcakes. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. I'll link it below. What's cool about these sets is they require no baking and you can actually eat it. I can't wait to get started. Let's open the box. Here we have the instructions. In this bag, we have the whoopie pie mold, the frosting tip, and the piping bag. Here's a cute pink box that we're gonna put the pies in after. In here, we have the powder mixtures for everything. This is the brown cake mix, the white icing mix, and some rainbow funfetti sprinkles. So the tools that came with the original set is this measuring spoon and a spatula. To start mixing, you just spin this lever at the top. To take the bowl out, you just lift up the top part and then pull it off. All right, let's start by making the brown cake mix. I'll add two big scoops of water. Let's move it over to the mixer and mix it up. You want to start slowly mixing at first so the powder doesn't fly everywhere. Mom and Dad wouldn't like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now use the spatula to scrape off all the batter and then we can move it to the molds. I'll use my spatula to fill the molds. This stuff is pretty sticky. I'll give it a little tap to get rid of any bubbles and then I'll pop it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. And don't worry, they'll expand in the fridge. After 15 minutes, they should look like this. Look at how big they got. The instructions said to spray the molds with nonstick spray, but I didn't have any, so hopefully these come out clean. Ooh, it did. Phew, I was a little bit worried. I think these turned out pretty well. Let's move it to a plate and then clean the bowl so we can make the white frosting. This needs one big scoop of water and one little scoop of water. To the mixer it goes.
Now let's set up the piping bag. First you want to put in the frosting tip and then scoop up all the frosting into the bag. I folded the bag so it makes it a little bit easier to fill it. Now you want to press all the frosting to the bottom and then give it a twist at the end. Time to fill the whoopie pies! You want to just frost it in a spiral motion starting from the outer edge. Now let's put on the tops! I think these turned out pretty good! Let's decorate the top! I'll give this one a little zigzag! This one can have a spiral. And the last one gets a heart. Time to add the sprinkles. Ooh, it's so colorful. And here's my finished whoopie pies! Let's go make the box for them! What do you guys think? I think these turned out just like the ones on the front of the box. Well, this was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks!